how's it going? Let's open this sucker up. <laughs> this is the unboxing, well, uncrating of the 0282 Jegs engine. Now, I bought it off Jegs eBay, but according to the reviews on the Jegs website, this is actually an ATK remanufactured engine. It's a replacement for GM trucks, vans, or SUVs that came with a 96 to 2000 Vortec engine. It's a 5.7 350 L31 long block, two bolt main, it has a 36 month warranty and unlimited miles. <laughs> well, that doesn't really do me no good. I'm actually going to be modifying it, so we'll see. <laughs> Quick tip. Because this isn't my first crate engine, these are Harbor Freight furniture dollies. Makes moving around a lot easier. Looks like it survived the trip. In the past I've had ones that are all busted up, but this one looks pretty good. Okay, let's see here. Four bolts. Remove the crate. Let me set the tripod and I'll Show you, I'll unwrap the sucker. Gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs> uh, crate humor. Here's what was on top of the engine. Let's see. Warning. Pre lube. I don't know what that says. Warning valve slash more info and junk on this thing. Okay, installer's guide. Looks like there's a few pages. I'm going to read that right now. You can check it out online, I'm sure. Warning fuel pump holes, serial stuff, somebody's fingerprints. Warning, water pump bypass, warranty claim, but enough of that junk, let's check out this engine. Okay, it's got nice black paint, should act as a good primer base to whatever color I paint it. Of course I'll scuff it up and use some like, you know, wax and grease remover and then paint it. Looks pretty good. Got some nice oil in the lifter valley, so things are nice and new and oily. Runners look good, now rusty. A little bit of oil down in the valve too. Coolant parts aren't too bad. Though I didn't notice, over here, on these water ports, there's a little bit of a, you know, Witness marks from the old, you know, old intake gasket and whatnot. They probably should have been surfaced a little better on right this one too. But it is a remanufactured engine, so you know, it's not perfect. Let's see, exhaust port, same thing. Not all rusty. Valves look good. Probably should throw some plugs in it. It's kind of humid around here. Doesn't come with a Hummock balancer or flex plate or nothing like that, so just so you know. There's that uh, water pump bypass. It looks like it's plugged, so no big deal. 
and uh, it is machined for a mechanical fuel pump possibly because it has this cover on it and they got the you know, sealer and the gasket on there. This over here is a Vortec block and as well and it doesn't even have a pump bypass drilled or the fuel pump machined. The same casting number too, so. 8880, 5.7. 880, 5.7. Well, it's not bad. We'll see. I'll tear into it here in a future video. I plan to pull the heads, do like, you know, some basic port work on them, and you know, a few other small upgrades here and there. I'll leave the short block probably together. But you know, I'll check out the you know the crank and you know look at the bearings and maybe do some um quick checks. I plan to use a carburetor intake on it, and you know carburetor of course. This is not gonna be you know dropped in some you know fuel injection as a replacement. It's gonna be put into a project of mine. And if you're, inter if you're interested in that, check out my other videos. But otherwise, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Peace out. Bonus clip. Check this out. That's cool them to put some silica packs in there. Keep the moisture at bay. A few more over here. I'm a little impressed. Probably a few weeks before I tear into it anyway, so good news.